One, what is up lads and <laughs> welcome back to a brand new video here uh, in Italy this time. Uh, Kubica has qualified eight, then it's been pretty shocking. Lewis Hamilton though on pole, uh, very close between him and Max Verstappen I must say. For some reason it's saying that that was a wet lap. Oh, it was in the wet. Uh, the qualifying was wet as you can see, very very close between the top three and top four in fact. So as we go to the dry race and uh, the lights are coming on now. It's a lot, it's the lights out and away we go, sorry. And uh, Lewis Hamilton, I think, gets a decent start. I can't quite tell though. Max Verstappen though, gets an absolute flyer and is already past Lewis Hamilton going into turn one. Hamilton go, gonna try and fight back. Um, around the outside and then the inside for turn two. Massive lockup for someone there. Hopefully no crashes as we go side by side through cover Grande. Kubica making up places. Leclerc dropping two. Sergio Perez, I think, keeping his. Um, so as we head through uh, into turns uh, three, uh, it's going to be Max Verstappen who is leading the Italian Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton and then Bottas, then the two McLarens, uh, then Kubica, then Sergio Perez, uh, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda. And now heading through uh, onto uh, the back straight, Hamilton uh, is four tenths behind, three tenths, sorry, uh, Verstappen. Hopefully going to try and close up with the slipstream. And uh, is already one tenth behind the Dutchman. Very, very close between the pair. And as they as they head through uh, the next sequence of corners, they're going to have to hope. Uh, Hamilton, though, is going to have to hope that he's going to get a good enough exit. He's already one tenth behind Max Verstappen. It's going to be very, very close. Hey, again, it's Parabolka. He's going to try and overtake James Parabolka. Is that going to work? Uh, Hamilton on the inside. Verstappen trying to uh, hold it around the outside of Parabolica. And it looks like he's got the move done. But now Hamilton going to try and tuck into the slipstream. He's so close at the top. You can see maybe Valtteri Bottas uh, wants to go heading, heading into turn one. Uh, is he going to try it? I think he's boxed in there. So Hamilton on the inside of turn one. Verstappen trying to hold it around the outside. We've seen this before. Doesn't end it here. This time Verstappen, I think, just about holds his line. But Hamilton with the better traction is going to re-overtake Max Verstappen heading into uh, uh, Curva Grande. But Verstappen then with, a, with the slipstream. Will he try and pass him, uh, Lewis Hamilton again? We'll have to see. Uh, he is trying to pull alongside for the outside line, but Hamilton just covers him off there and uh, keeps his lead into turns five. Kibitza still in P6, still try, can't make any inroads there on Lando Norris. And you can see Latifi and um, Mazepin battling away for last position. <laughs> um, so Verstappen then, uh, four tenths behind Hamilton though, with the set stream into Ascari, will get... Um, a decent toe and gain a bit. Uh, Bottas, though, is very, very close but on the back of uh, that um, Red Bull there. So uh, DRS is going to get enabled very, very shortly. They will not have it down this back straight. They will have it uh, next lap on the um, the second straight. So um, heading into Parabolica now for the third time this race. Uh, third or second time, I can never tell. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's going to be Lewis Hamilton from Verstappen who's going to get a good toe. He's getting three tenths behind, uh, but Vort Bottas can't make any inroads because uh, Verstappen has the slipstream. So um, Verstappen uh, closing up with the slipstream. It doesn't look like he's, he's going to be close enough to make a dive, uh, but Kubica is. He's going to try and dive it down the inside of Lando Norris. Just about makes that stick with a huge lock up there for the Polishman, but he does get the move done and does get himself up into fifth position. So a uh, nice move there from Kubica. Uh, he's going to try and move himself up the places even more as Hamilton um, not quite close enough uh, not uh, well sorry um, he's got enough of a decent gap to Verstappen so that he doesn't have to um, defend sorry S uh, five tenths there between the pair and uh, for some reason the cameraman has decided to focus on Kubica who is not relevant right now <laughs> at all in any way uh, he is however eight seven tenths sorry behind Daniel Ricciardo so he's not even anywhere near close enough to make it to make a move sorry and so if uh, the cameraman would just cut back uh, there to the pair that are actually relevant in this race. That would be absolutely lovely there. But unfortunately, uh, he's a bit stupid. So um, there, Hamilton and Verstappen, four tenths between the two. It does not look like the cameraman is going to change any, uh, anywhere soon, anytime soon, sorry. Um, so uh, the first time, DRS is going to get enabled this lap then. And uh, is there going to be any changes in position on the timing screen? It doesn't look like it. Two tenths behind, the, uh, one tenth maybe. Um, still, we decide to focus on Kubica. Still, the cameraman is stupid, but um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, to be honest. We're just focusing on a useless race. Uh, lap four of five, then. And it's going to be Robert Kubica, who is uh, trying to force his way through the pack. The championship leader, um, who is in no way relevant at all to this uh, conversation, uh, trying to not die on this last lap, maybe consolidate his, his fifth position as we ride on board with him. Uh, and now we decide to go back to the pair that are actually relevant in this race. Never mind, we're going back to Robert Kubica. Uh, because the pair, the leading, leading pair, are nowhere near fighting. Uh, there we go. But Verstappen with the DRS is four tens behind Hamilton. And this could be very, very difficult for Hamilton to hold on. Going on to the last lap of the race, if Verstappen can stick close through Parabolica. Um, so two tens there between uh, Verstappen and Valtteri Bottas. <coughs> it's going to be very, very tight. Um, if he can just hold on, uh, Hamilton, on this back straight, he should be all right for the rest of this um, rest of the race. So then with DRS, with the slip from here comes back for Stappen on this back straight. Is he going to be close enough? He's pulled to the inside. Hamilton tries to cuff him off. And then uh, there's Bottas trying to make it three wide. Doesn't quite work for Verstappen uh, on the outside. Will he get the better drive on the racing line? It looks like he is. And it's Verstappen who's through into the lead of the race from Hamilton. Who may be trying to fight back through Curva Grande with the slipstream. Uh, is he, is he going to try and pull to the inside outside? Which way is he going to go? Hamilton tries it on the outside. Uh, Verstappen leaves the door open for him on the outside. But has the inside line and then keeps the position from Lewis Hamilton. It's very, very close up at the top and Hamilton is so close on the back of Max Verstappen uh, can he make a move on this on this back straight re-overtake Verstappen maybe uh, Kubica for some reason why the hell are we focusing on him because here comes Lewis Hamilton is he going to go for a move is he going to be close enough he tries the outside just Hamilton of Ascari he pulls alongside uh, Verstappen though squeeze on the inside and Hamilton gets the move done uh, uh, into Ascari and Hamilton re-overtakes Verstappen for the win and here comes Valtteri Bottas maybe trying a move um, on the outside of Parabolica on Max Verstappen with the situation of his teammate they're going to go side by side through the uh, final corner who's going to get it who's going to come out on top it looks like it's going to be Valtteri Bottas or well, no, no one's got any battery left and it's going to be Valtteri Bottas who takes the Mercedes 1-2 from Verstappen who lost two, posi two positions on that last lap then Ricardo Kubica, Perez, oh no, so Kubica, Norris, Perez, Leclerc, Gasly, Sonoda, Vettel, Stroll, Alonso, Ocon, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi. And uh, here comes Nicolas Latifi and uh, Nikita Mazepin. Uh, are we going to... Oh, never mind. The video stopped. So um, it's going to be Kubica with the fastest lap of the race somehow. But Lewis Hamilton on the last lap of the race. And Valtteri Bottas on the last corner of the last lap. Uh, who take the win here in Italy. And that was a, a race... Very, very well done. So it's going to be Kambitza, who's only leading the championship here by one point to Bottas and what, two points to Max Verstappen. Three points separate the top three. It's going to be a very, very close race, close championship, this one is, um, as we head through into the constructor standings. And um, Ferrari, very far behind. Um, Mercedes seems to be running away with this one. That has been Italy. Hopefully Leclerc can do something with his life to uh, help Kubica, his teammate, get uh, the drivers or constructors. That's been Italy. Thank you very much.